One of the most frustrating things about furniture painting, whether you're doing it at home or you're doing it for other people, is bleed through. The dreaded bleed through that when you've finished a piece and you think it looks so beautiful and you go to put the top coat on and all of a sudden everything is messed up because you see reds and oranges and yellows and sometimes even a bright blue popping through. And you go, where did I do wrong? How can I fix this? I have been there, I have been in tears, and so I'm here to help you find out which primer is the best so that you can make sure that your piece looks beautiful from start to finish. And so you don't have to redo everything because you used the right primer with the right paint. And when you put the top coat on, it stays the right color and doesn't allow for any bleed through to pop through. So which one is it gonna be? You guys cast your votes down below. Leave a comment before even watching this whole thing to let me know which one is your vote for who's gonna take the cake and not allow bleed through. This is a dresser for a client, but I'm not starting on it until next week, so I decided to use her piece for my primer experiment. Prepping before primer is super important. I use cred cutter, cleaner degreaser after removing the knobs. I use a Dixie Belle sponge. These things are amazing. They've got soap inside them. It's glycerin, it cleans off all the waxy residue. So I use both things and then I use my microfiber rags dipped in a little bit of water to get all the grime and grit off. I use a dry microfiber cloth after I have fully cleaned it twice and wiped it clean and dry. On most furniture that you are painting, you need to do a buff sand. This is what a buff sand looks like where you're just getting the top surface. You're roughing it up a little bit with like a 150 to a 180 grit just to give it a little bit of adhesion to sand too. However, this dresser had dings that went all the way down to the wood. And so I had to use 80 grit on this to take it back to the wood, but this is gonna be a much better experiment for you because this is gonna get down to the real tannins and the real pop through. If you're wondering what I'm sanding with, it's my brand new Surf Prep Orbital Sander, incredible vacuum. I actually am an affiliate now, and so you can get 10% off below with my code. All right, now that we have sanded and I learned how to use my new Surf Prep sanding system, I wiped them all back down. So once you have sanded, you've cleaned first, you've sanded second, and now you're gonna wipe clean. I'm just waiting on this to dry. I'm gonna tape this off into sections and then we are gonna test through all of these primers because that's been my biggest struggle for the last eight years is what is the best primer? So we're gonna talk through some of these primers right here. This first one is Ben's Visitor Bullseye, one, two, three. This is on the less expensive end. It is a water-based, it talks about ultra high hiding, hides dark color, seals and block stains, bonds to all surfaces without sanding. Well. In my experience, none of these can be without sanding. At least everything has to have a buff sand. In my experience, when I've used this in the past, it does not seal everything in. We're gonna put it to the test. This is Dixie Belle's Slick Stick. Now, this is for very glossy surface. Surfaces like laminates and other glossy things like mirrors, chrome, all that kind of stuff. I've used it on wood before just to see if it acts like shellac and seals in tannins. So we're gonna put that to the test. I've never used this before. This is a stain blocking bonding primer sealer by Valspar. This is in white, it's latex, so we're gonna see how it does. It says it's for cabinets, doors, trim, extreme adhesion to glossy surfaces, blocks tannin stains, so we're gonna see. This is your Dixie Bell's Boss. This is their clear primer. Uh, they just came out with a new one. It's called Bonding Boss. And so I'm excited to get that in the mail, but for now we're just gonna try the regular boss. This is Kills 3, so this is on the higher end of the Kills line. This is their premium, it's heavy duty high hide sealer and stain blocker. You can paint in one hour. It works with alkali oil and water-based top coats, so that's interesting. It says exceptional adhesion and durability, blocks medium to heavy stains, all the same stuff as the others. This is Kills Clear. It's a clear sealer. When I'm working with dark colors, I don't wanna put white before I put the dark colors because I'm gonna need so much more paint than I would if I have clear. So I bought this just to see how it would compare to the rest of the Kills lines. This is new to me. This is Sherwin-Williams HGTV. So I thought it might be special. Uh, cabinet door and trim primer. So this says it works on furniture, cabinets, doors, trim. It's got a 30 minute dry time. This says adhesion. This is a urethane modified acrylic. 
So I'm interested to see, I'm gonna see what this cleans up with. You always look on the back to see what it cleans up with. It cleans up with soap and water. So somehow there's there, it's still a water-based polyurethane because otherwise you'd have to clean it up with mineral spirits. If it says mineral spirits here, that means it's not water-based. So if it cleans up with soap and water, should be good to go. This is your, like can buy it at Walmart, flat white primer. Now this has saved me in a pinch. I always have this on hand because if there is one single spot on a dresser, especially in white, that is, continues to come up through, I shake this up, I spray a little bit of this on it, I paint over that, and usually it seals it right in. There's something about the matte flat of this that's a miracle worker. So I do love this. I don't use it for whole projects because I can't spray an entire dresser smoothly. All right, now we get to my favorite. Everybody always says, what's the best primer? Well. People say shellac, but here's why shellac sucks. So if you put it through a sprayer, you probably have to plan on never using that sprayer to put paint in again because it's so hard to clean out. Now this only cleans up with acetone. So when you're using this, think like hardcore nail polish remover. It also smells like nail polish remover. It is made by Beatles. Um, it's, that's what the shellac is. This seals in all the smoke smells, cat urine, all this. So like, Shellac is like the overall fix it all, but it is the also it is also the most expensive. So this was eighty dollars for this can, and even the smaller one is very expensive. And this spray bottle, just like this, is twenty dollars. So we're gonna see if any of the others compare and seal in the tannins as well as shellac does. sticks and I went to the hardware store and got a bunch of supplies and guess what I forgot paint stir sticks so don't tell my husband butter knives work really good too and I'm gonna totally wash this afterwards I've never done this whenever you open a can of primer you have to stir it I have got nine different rollers. Now the majority of these are water-based, so I'm gonna be able to wash them off. It's gonna be no big deal. Shellac-based one, I'm probably gonna to toss it. But these are pretty cheap. These are my favorite. They're cabinet foam rollers. They are great quality. I am trying two of these. They were a little bit more expensive, but they've got this like furry element to it. So it says it puts on a really cool coat. So when I paint the dresser that's behind me, I'm gonna use these. First. All right, so each one of these is gonna get its own roller. I've gotta remember which one goes with which. I'm probably gonna lay it next to the paint. I am not gonna roll, I'm not gonna pour the paint into a tray. We're doing a very small section of it, so I'm literally just gonna dip it in and put it on because I'm gonna be able to roll it out right then and there. So again, this is just for testing our theory, which one is best, let's go. This is the perfect time to drop a comment below and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. You guys can also connect with me on Instagram and Facebook. I love being on both and connecting with people that are doing similar projects or find inspiration with my furniture. Also in the description of this video below, if you click, you can see an affiliate link for all of these products. You can find them all on Amazon or through Walmart, but they are all amazing and I have affiliate links for each one of them so you can easily find them. Even after just a few minutes of putting these on, I can already tell that this tannin is soaking up. Now this is the problem with spray. It's really uneven. So I would have to go through twice and then probably sand some of that back just to make sure it's even. Because it can really just go on very gloppy. This is that shellac. I can already see. You guys can see. Some are whiter than others. Right now that's the whitest one. The slick stick, but I just put that on. There's already oranges coming up through there. So we're gonna let these all dry and then we're gonna come back and check them. I decided to give each one of these a benefit of the doubt. I always do two coats of primer, especially when I notice that there's gonna be dark bleed through anyways. And so I gave everything two coats of primer and then I let it dry overnight. All right, it is the next morning. Normally you can let these dry and recoat them right away with paint, but I wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt. Now, obviously we can't tell if anything's gonna bleed through, but look at this color versus this color. This is the shellac that I was talking about that is the most expensive. 
it's like orange. We've got a funky spot coming up through here. Way more orange, way more orange. The spray paint's doing well. It's still orange, but not as bad. Let's get to painting. I'm using your basic mineral paint by Dixie Belle. This is in Cucumber Ice, so it's the lightest tint of green you can find. It almost looks white. And then I painted it across and realized I covered up all my labels with that. So then I just finished it and then I wiped it back off where the green tape was. <laughs> but on the next one I got smarter and just did it in between the green tape so I didn't have to wipe anything down. I put two coats of this paint on and then I let it dry for one hour and then I added my polycrylic by Minwax. I love this. Clear Satin is a top contender for me on all the top coats because clients request it most of all. It's very easy to clean, it's not too glossy, it's not streaky, and it's just a gorgeous finish. I usually spray this on. It does spray better than brushing. We already have a clear loser. Do you guys see? Do you see that? That's crazy to me. So this is shellac. This is that spray paint. So man, if you're gonna <laughs> cut the cheap route, at least get the spray paint. Dang, this is that Valspar bonding primer. Look is at that this. Good? No. There is all sorts of orange popping up. I then let it dry for two days so you can see the full effect. All right, this is after just a few days. So imagine if you let your piece dry, you thought maybe it'll just clear up. Oh no, it doesn't, it gets worse. So this is that Kills Clear. I would highly suggest only using this on darker colors because yeah, that's not, there is no stopping that bleed through. This is your Sherwin-Williams. This is that expensive one, which is crazy. Like it had the most bleed through issue. This is your Bin Shellac. Now it did amazing, but I still see some right there. So it is not the top that I thought it was going to be. This is your Rust-Oleum spray paint. So if you're going to go the cheaper route, go this route. Now everywhere that I got it covered completely, remember I did not sand this back and recoat it. Anywhere that it wasn't fully touching the surface, it did pop through, but man, this is great in a pinch. This is that Bullseye 123. It did exactly what I thought it was gonna do and it's full of bleed through. This is Dixie Belle's Slick Stick. So clearly not, uh, not a tannin sealer. It probably sticks super well to glossy laminate surfaces, but not a bleed through sealer. This is the Valspar. <laughs> Insane. The two that I thought like, oh, this will be cool. I'll get to try them. The two that I thought would like be top contenders. Nope. The worst. The absolute worst. This is Dixie Belle's Clear Boss. Now this crackled because I did not let it dry enough, but it did not seal in. Now, this is the Kills 3 Premium. Wow. Super impressed by it. I would not have thought there is hardly, if any, I'm going to come around here, bleed through on the entirety of it. So this is the top contender. It beat out shellac and I am so impressed. Thank you guys for joining me on this experiment. I can't wait to see you next week. I'll have a full furniture flip tutorial for you.